been able to put it together. I've come very close, so yeah, happy to get under it and get that out of the way and um, get a nice PR. Just I couldn't want more than that going into Rio. So. Did the race sort of run the way you thought it would? Was it off, you know, off topic? I guess. Uh, you know, it went it went pretty much as expected. It was windy out there, so. Um, but I, I just wanted to focus on placing well. My goal was to be right there with um, with Melissa and Brenda, and that's what I did. So I, I, I executed as I wanted to count on that. Oh, yeah. It was perfect. It made sense. Um, we're very good. I mean, my training's been going great. I, I felt like I've raced okay, but not quite, you know, showing what my training has made me capable of. So today, getting a PR, that's a good sign. Um, you know, I, I ran close to a sub two in practice at altitude, so I knew I was capable of it, but, um, you know, it's about staying calm under pressure and running in a pack, and uh, today was perfect practice for that. A uh, week from today, I head over to Rio, so I'm exactly two weeks out from my first round. I love it. Um, it gives you a reason to. I mean, I always just follow the other and see how they're doing, but it gives you an extra reason to put people's attention to cheer. It sort of breaks the ice between athletes and other events that you may not have gotten to know before. And I think it's a really fun new approach to, to track and field. I hope we continue it. Did you and Melissa kind of talk about the fact that you could uh, give you guys some good points? Oh, you know, I, my goal was just to stay as close to her and Brenda. I figured that you know they would be in the front. And my goal was just to stay as close to them as possible. Melissa's been running phenomenally well lately, so you know, I was like, if I can be close, it'll be a good race for me. <laughs> beforehand in the warm-up track she's like let's go San Francisco and you know that's something that's fun too because most races most champ especially when you're at championship you know one another but you're like laser focused and you're like I like you but I want to beat you <laughs> and uh, today it was fun I mean also I'm in an off event for me so you know it makes it a little makes it a little more, for, more different and exciting but uh you know yeah it's a way for us to connect to the competitors out there and kind of get more into the spirit of to represent your hometown was that pretty cool uh, Awesome. I was so happy to represent San Francisco. I would have been very disappointed were I with another team. So ask me. How, how prepared do you feel this Olympic side? Uh, much more than before. Um, I mean, the whole point of the track and, uh, track and field is trying to just get a little bit better each year, whether it's mentally or physically or emotionally, whatever it is. Um, you know, I've got the support of a great team, the Nike Oregon Project. I'm married to a wonderful man, Pablo Solaris, and training has been great. I, I get my butt kicked on a regular basis, but, um, you know, I've made huge progress. So, you know, I'm, I'm proud of that. And who knows what will happen in Rio, but I'm going in as prepared as I could be, and you know, now I'll just pray for the best. I pray that it is. I mean, I hope that this summer series becomes an actual series. We can compete in different cities. Um, you know, I, I say it all the time. USA track and field is the best in the world, and yet the American U.S population hardly knows that we exist so um, you know I think if we build it they will come I think you know the men and women of this sport are great role models for children especially young women there aren't a lot of sports that create role models for young women so um, yeah I'm really excited for the future of running I hope I have some more years ahead of me but I hope once I'm done I can continue to be an ambassador for the sport as well and with all you've accomplished you finally get under two what does that mean it's exciting yeah I mean I just barely shaved under it so you know I'll take that um but yeah, it's nice just to know something I felt I could do for a long time, but you know, thinking you can do it is another than actually accomplishing it. So it's nice to come away from this race with a PR, knowing that, you know, even the windy conditions and all of that, that, uh, you know, I'm able to race in the eight better than I have ever before. So, you know, that's exciting, encouraging. With your 15 preparations, I mean, last year you got the American record and all that. Would you feel you're ahead of last year? I mean, how do you compare? You know, looking back in training, um, I thought, you know, I thought, oh, okay, I'm making progress, and then, you know, we sort of reflected back on previous workouts and things that I thought were big breakthroughs last year. I'm doing more, like, much more consistently this year, so, you know, it's 
there's no major change. It's just I'm, I'm fortunate, knock on wood, I've stayed healthy all these years and um, been able to just, you know, incrementally improve. And, you know, I set big, big training goals for myself after indoor world or after indoors this year. And um, luckily, I've been able to kind of check off a lot of those boxes. So, you know, who knows? Who knows at Rio what will happen? But um, I feel prepared. So that's all I can ask for. <laughs> yeah.